I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Well, race number seven is over 2300 meters. It's a middle stakes. And at the time of recording Devon, there are no scratchings. 10 runners go to post. Before we bring up the field and try and analyze the form, let's go to that interview package. Yeah, I've had to take on the Colts to get her over the distance. Um, I think she really appreciate the step up in trip. She was staying on very late in her last run. And I think uh, even though we're up against the Colts, she'll be competitive and I'm expecting a very good run from her. Well, those are positive comments, uh, as you heard from Duncan. Even though she's up against the Colts, we are expecting a very good run from her. There are two fillies in the race, Devon, numbers one and eight, taking on the boys. And after those comments from Duncan House, many will consider including her in the pick six. Uh, I've uh, tried my best to narrow it down, and I'm going to do so, Devon. Uh, I'm just going to include four runners here in, for the exotics, we'll be it the last pick three, the last double, the pick six, or the jackpot. Um, in numerical order, my numbers are going to be two, four, five, and nine. Two, four, five, and nine. Uh, if I had to be pushed for an outright choice, whew, difficult, but it just may be horse number two every cloud. What's your thought process? Yeah, I like uh, your selections uh, that you've given us, but this is a very open race in my opinion. I do believe that, th that there are many that have winning chances, mm. and I like the four horses that, that you touched on, but I would throw in one more. Yes. And that is number 10, Kain Judy. Stable companion to number two. Yeah. Byron Burtis, Chase Majan. Now, I remember earlier in the, this horse's career, he always rated the horse. Yes. And, you know, she's definitely got the ability. And she's I wouldn't won be seven surprised. races. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see a horse like this popping up at around about seven to one. I know it's a bad draw, but she can run on. Yes. So I wouldn't discount the chances. And the last start wasn't all that bad. 2.9 lengths behind Celtic Beauty is a good run for me. And this, this one must go in. If I'm playing a pick six, I'll include a few numbers. I'll include the four that you've touched on. Yes. Number 10, Kind Judy. I thought number one, Pinstripe, has to be a massive runner here. But if I'm <coughs> playing another pick six, I might even go the field because you can make a case for any one of these runners. Because we, we haven't touched on the horse that's priced up anti-post as the favorite and that's number three Vian's Bomb at three yes. at one a, a recent maiden winner but won the maiden well you know is is it a fair comment and i'm sure you would have watched that last right is it yes, fair it comment that the feel that he won against last time out with all due respect wasn't the strongest it was a weak field. Yeah, and he it, it rightfully was. won in that race the way that he did. I think this was Basi Rakva distance come out to run second behind Power uh, Star. Second or third, yeah. yeah. Behind Power Star, I think yes. it was. But, I mean, this is a step up from there to now. But the one thing in his favor is that he showed that he released the extra distance, Devon. So, stamina is no issue and he seems to get stronger as they're putting him over further. Mm. Yeah, that is, a, that is a massive positive and I don't normally uh, go for horses straight after they win their maiden. Yes, he won impressively yes. on paper, but having gone through the field, and we say this respectfully, it yes. wasn't the strongest of fields. So he's going to have to confirm that and see how he actually uh, steps up against this lot here. Because Richard, there's some hard knockers here, these. Richard Furey must have been impressed. You know, he, he, he says, let me, let me give it a try out the maidens. But there, there's some there's some nice horses here. You know, there are some nice horses here. And this horse is taking on a four-time winner like Rockfall, who is very useful on his day. Yes. You know, only a poet, not the worst post maiden form. Madison Valley is highly rated by Frank Robinson. I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. His last start behind Royal Swan Master. He was staying on over 1,700 meters. I think it's a right move for them to see if he does stay. Number nine, Madison Valley. And then a horse like every cloud, although that form line hasn't shaped up from his last start, yes. you know, the stable have hit their straps now. This Baron Bortis yard, I think they are worth following now because Baron mentioned it's going to take a bit of time for me to find my feet here in KZN. 
but I think he has found his feet in a big way. Yeah, and uh, Samanga Kumala has ridden the horse before, so he knows the horse well, and this horse does have a very good draw. So I think you can expect a big performance from number two, Every Cloud. How do we wrap things up? Yard. Yeah, I'll, uh, pick six wise, I'll throw it number one, number two, Every Cloud. And <clears throat> I just want to touch on one more horse, number four, Rockfall. Yes. This horse just. Do you like this horse, the one that came from the back of the field with Ashton Aris? Yes, you remember that. Um, yeah. This horse runs ex very well here at Gravel, but he needs a certain type of ride. And I, and I stand to be corrected, it's just my opinion. I feel that he runs his best races off when he comes the speed from or off the speed. Not with the speed, like Muzi did last time. Yeah, off the speed. <laughs> <laughs> did it surprise you last time? I was very surprised by that when beating a quantifier. Because if you look at this, the last time we analyzed this horse, and I said, every time the horse is drawn bad, yes. he runs well. Thumbs up. And when Ashton rode him, I saw drawn 12 out of 12. I said, go here, baby. Yes. This is the one. He came from but the But last time, Muzi, Muzi caught you napping last time. Yeah, Muzi caught me napping. <laughs> <laughs> small field here, but a small compact field compared to, to those kind of runs. But let's see how he pans out. But definitely loves uh, Gravel. I'm taking a big chance here, Devon. Two, four, five, and nine for me. Two, four, five, and nine for D's, and I'll be throwing in number 10, Kind Judy, as well as number one, Pinstripe. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula, and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.